First line is going to go to feverish. All right. Uh, is that the Kinoto? Yep. Okay, cool. Uh, Kinoto uh, Mataku Onajita. Uh, uh, is Kinoto like tom tomorrow? Yeah. I thought um, Kino was yesterday. yesterday. Oh, okay. my bad. <laughs> All right, so yesterday, uh, I think like Mata. Oh, the toe. I guess that was like just saying when it happened. So that's a good guess because toe can be used to mean that. That's the sentence toe, basically, where we have a big phrase over here. And then a phrase over here. And this does look similar to that. Because, like, for example, we have suruto and things like that. However, this right here is actually the and version of to. So, kino to kyo, in other words. But kyo, which means today, has been dropped. Hmm. Okay. So, today and yesterday, it is mataku onaji. You know what onaji means? Yes, I think it's the same. Yes. So it seems like both today and yesterday were completely the same. Yes. And this is talking about how saying, I want to see this place, like this thing, while well, pointing at a book. And this causes the wind to pick up and the trees to shake um, and the house to like, you know, like the spin and stuff. So they have um, teleported already into the special word last week so we have the we hear some horse neighing noises and they looked out the window right now um so they're like oh exactly the same as yesterday we have been brought to the world inside of the book um <laughs> cookie okay uh okay so i think Shupatsu means um something to do with I, I think it's either the weekday or the weekend. It actually something has, like that. So that's actually a really good guess because shumatsu can mean the weekend. Um but shupatsu <laughs> with that pa right there um okay. actually means to depart. Right? Oh yeah, yep, yeah, that depart. makes more sense. I've seen that before and I've forgotten. Yeah. Okay. Uh Shupatsu or Aniya. Um so that's what Annie said. And ha hashaide. Um to make merry, to be in high spirits. Oh, so so we're we're departing and he said in high spirits. Yep. Oni chan suwate. Sit down, big brother. Um And um, sorry, Kazega Masumasu Chioku Nari Kinoe ga um Hageshku Yuredu. So um, the wind gets stronger and stronger, and the tree branches um shake extremely aggressively. Um, and um, feverish. Onegaishimas. Yes. Uh, yagate. Uh. Is that oh it's Tsuri Hausu Ga Kaiten Mo Hajime uh Monosugoi uh Supido de Mawari wa Jimeta. Oh <laughs> they always like throw like something at the beginning that I just don't know like uh you got that? So that's yeah. like a time phrase. It it basically means in like a normal amount of time. <laughs> like it's not like the super fast, but it's also not slow. It's kind of like, it means before long. So it's kind of just like a generic time pass between um, the branches shaking and this event, but not a lot of time passed. But it also wasn't instantaneous. Okay. Uh, yeah, so some time passed and then uh, you can just think of it as like and like it doesn't mean and but if I was translating it because <laughs> if you say some time passed that sounds like a long time in English doesn't it some time passed and then 
versus like and then oh yeah <laughs> that kind of helps it doesn't tell us it immediately happened but we kind of know it's wasn't like a so, so and then what happened uh okay yeah the tree house i think it like rotated yep and yeah. how fast did it mo rotate? Uh, oh, like a, a very like splendid speed, or I guess like a very <laughs> yeah, monosugoi. Very speed. It's like super <laughs> duper monosugoi, staggering, okay. tremendous. So super <laughs> fast, and that's all that's saying. It begins to spin and then begins to spin super fast. <laughs> um, um, cookie, onigashimasu. Okay, so what's the bit at the beginning? Uh, so this totsuzen is like very slightly, it's quite different than yagate. So yagate is just like and then, it's like boring. Totsuzen is like bam! Suddenly. suddenly. Yep. <laughs> so suddenly. Uh, something. So nanimo kamo else... means like as if nothing happened, or anything and everything. Never mind. <laughs> so anything and everything, um, anything Mark. and anything stopped it. Oh, <laughs> uh, it just stopped. Yeah. Okay, that's an interesting idiom, I guess. Okay. Uh, shizuka ni natta, and then everything was quiet. Perfect. Nanimo kikoi nai. Can't hear a thing. It is silent. Yep. Um, and next line is going to go to feverish. Yes. Jaku wa soto me wo aketa. How do you read this? Uh, soto. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Is this something said soto? I'm like, it's not outside. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a slight pause. <laughs> Uh, so I think like uh, so Jack is the subject and he's Hi. Uh, it looks like he's opening did he like open exactly. his eyes yep because his eyes were closed so oh. soto means he's just kind of like slowly opening it basically and mm -hmm. next line is going to go to me once <laughs> once I figure out what I just did <laughs> oh okay, I went back. Okay, here we are. Back where we're supposed to be. Hi. Um uh kuki ga tsumetakute uh shime boy. So the air was very cold. I don't know what that means. And damp. <laughs> it was very cold in camp. Uh senaka ga zokuzokusuru, which caused my back to tingle. Oh, I was shivering. Yeah, it's like the the shudder. So I shuddered because um it was damp and cold. And um cookie, on you guys Okay, before I start, whose totally. perspective is this book in? This book is in a narrator that's basically looking into Jack's brain. So um basically it's Jack's a narrator, but it's like third person Jack. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Kihin, uh, which is like an explanation of something. Um, mado no shita kara, mata uma no inanaki ga kikoeta. Okay, so, so inanaki hihin, if I rem... is hihi. -hi. Yeah, so hihin is the automatopoeia for a horse, and uh, doing what? Uh, neighing. Hi. Uh, and there's like um the the underside of the wind as like from the underside of the window mm -hmm. um again the horse ne uh the horse's inanaki can be heard yes which is the name yep yep so, so below the uh, window we can hear once again the horse neigh yeah okay um for this part right here um feverish Tuitawa. Tuitawa. You know what that means? Uh, like, is it saying like sweet? <laughs> Good guess. But it actually means we arrived. Tuita. 
Okay. Um, it is uh not this kanji to be attacked. We go down. Do, 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 do. It's way down here somewhere because we won't find it. <laughs> Never mind. It's a different kanji. This it's the to arrive kanji. Do you know what, do you know what this wa is telling us? Uh, that Annie is speaking. I think. Yep. Exactly. Annie ga oshiru no hou no motta mama uki uki shite ita. So Annie, while holding the book with the castle on it, um, she said, "Woo, we arrived!" in a probably happy kind of way, would be my guess. Um, cheerfully, in high spirits. And next is going to be Cookie. Okay. So, oh my God, how did I lose myself? <laughs> okay, so I think we're at. City house no stawa. Oh wait, no. Oh, uh, sorry. Mado no like part. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah. Ma uh, mado no soto miruto. Ah, uh, kiri no naka ni oki na shiro shiro ga ukabia ah uh, gette iru. Rise to the surface to emerge from the background to stand out. Oh, okay. That's an interesting one. Okay, so from the outside, I guess it was it's saying like, um, looking through the outside of the window, um, ki kiri kiri. Which which one is that? So kiri means fog. That's what helps us ukabi agatte to actually make sense. Oh, okay. So it's a fog. Mm -hmm. Um. So from the, oh, in the inside of the fog. Hi. A very large, um, and I think that's a castle. Hi. Yeah, and, and then it's like emerged from the distance. So that's it. Well, in this case, it's emerging from the fog. Yeah, emerging from the fog. My, my bad. <laughs> it, 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 can't, it can't emerge from the distance that I said that earlier. Like, it's emerging from, like, the background stuff. But here's emerging out of the fog. Yeah, I guess in English, it's like we always abuse emerging from the distance so, and so. not emerging from the fog. So I guess that's muscle memory. So, so. Um, feverish. On a Yes. Uh, Suri house no shita wo kudoi uma ni no ta ano kishi ga tori sugi teiku. So this right here is all describing the kishi, isn't it? Okay. Uh riding a horse. Uh and I think the kishi is like knight, so like it the is. knight that knight was riding a horse. What color was the horse? Uh black horse, my bad. Mm -hmm. Perfect. <laughs> and what did he do? Uh like wrote it through the treehouse basically it means like the go past in this with that it could mean go through but and in, in this I, I don't think it's actually physically going through the treehouse so it's probably more like to go past okay i mean it is a book <laughs> <laughs> i don't think it's that fanciful um to pass by but like tori sugi tori can mean to go through something uh but yeah in this context it'd be going past okay um jack got so Jack says this while um holding the guidebook for um Pennsylvania, the, the state of Pennsylvania book. And what does he say, Cookie? Tonika Tonikaku Ichido Kaero Ichido Kaero uh Kaete Kaete uh Yoku kangaite kara ni surunda. So I think it's something along the lines of we need to go home now. Something like that. Mm -hmm. I would agree with that. Uh, more like I think we need to go home from here. With the state of um, Pennsylvania book. So he's basically saying once we go home and we should take a... A, a, a moment to think about this. Yoku kan gai kara suru yo. So this is like probably because because we should really think about this for a bit. Mm. So if we want to break the sentence bit by bit, starting mm -hmm. from the beginning, 
It goes tonikaku. What's that bit at the beginning? That's like anyway. Okay, anyway. And then ichido kaero. And then once we get home, right? Yeah, I, I've never seen ichido used this way, but it can't mean anything else. <laughs> ichido. <laughs> yeah. Uh, like, I've, I've never seen it used this way, but I, it doesn't make any other sense. Ichido kaero, which is let's go home. Ichido. I guess. Oh, okay. Works. Yep. Let's go home. And then when we return home, we should yoku kangaete kara ni um suruna. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. So we should have a good think about this. Yeah, oh you're right, it was the after. So to choose to do yeah. something only after blank happens. Oh, so yeah. we sh- so we should only go travel to the certain location we're at until after we take a little think about it. Yeah. So you're saying let's go home first. Think about what we're going to do. Then we can go back here with these weird-ass castles, Annie. <laughs> okay. Not Don't get smallpox. Ah, I think my computer just froze. Oh, oh no, me. your computer actually caught smallpox. <laughs> I jinxed it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can still see some of the screen, so we'll try reading this line. But I think we're not going to do the full hour since my computer froze. Like, it's moving, but not, not the internet. Not, like, the Chrome is it moving? The browser, yeah. Oh, you might want to close it and reopen it later. But yeah, we'll give oh, it a try. Okay. Um, so next line is gonna go for cookie. Okay. Uh Jakua Shorigawa sa mata pejo hiraki um furo frog frog creek no shashini yubi o Seta. Okay, so this one's a bit more loaded. So it's like Jack is, and then it's like Shorty. I'm not. I forgot what so, that was. So I first, think we saw that. So what Jack did was page yo hiraki. What does that mean? That means to open a page. Yes. So we're describing this page as Shorty ga asamatta. What page do you think he opened up to logically? Oh, the one with the bookmark in it. Hi, hi. Yep. And yeah, what did he find? It. And he found a picture of Frog Creek and pointed at it, or right. rather touched it with his finger. Exactly. And that's Frog... what this that's what this noseta means, right? Yeah, noseta should be to put against to place. Yeah, so he put place. his finger on top of the uh right. picture of Frog Creek. What well, it's, it's my computer's back working. <laughs> So Wonderful. Recovered. <laughs> it needed a moment. Okay. Uh, Frog Creek ni yayo. So she's saying, "Stop it!" And he, when he was going, "I want to." It's funny, like when you want to translate something into English, you have to because we do the "I want." We have to do the opposite. Oh my god! We have to do the "I want to." <laughs> translating have you ever like been annoyed when you see that like in an anime or something and it'll like do the not what they're saying because there isn't a way to word it It yeah it's like the lips don't move in tune with the uh to to treehouse yeah (laughs) to treehouse i mean to to frog creek i guess that's how we would say to frog creek but this would definitely this was in english it says i want to (laughs) yeah they do it memories um, um, any wa subayaku gyaku no te kara a pen sirabin yashu no ho no tori ageta. So, super fast, Annie grabs um the book uh of Pennsylvania from Jack's hand. And next is going to be this part for feverish. Oh, uh, sekaku uh, kitan da kara. Kono jidai wo mite karani. Um, and then shite. Nice. It's so probably that... like one big word. <laughs> so it's like, is it like karani shite or is it? Karani uh, shite is the thing we just saw um, earlier, which is to do something after you do the verb. So. She's saying um, the thing we do after it is the going home. So this ha- it's it's the uh, kaidu koto. 
That's not written in here, though. So she's saying, Sekaku kitan dakara. What does that part mean? Uh, you know what sekaku means? It kind of like gives a little bit of feeling here. Is it like at once? So it actually isn't at once. It's almost like the opposite. It means you went to a lot of trouble to do something. So a lot uh, of times characters will use this when they're like frustrated, like sekaku, blah, 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 blah. Because it just kind of like feels like, wow, I, I took so much time to do this. I've been waiting forever. Um, so we finally kitad. Uh, what does kita mean? Finally like came here. Or... Yes. Yeah. So we <laughs> finally come dakara. What's dakara? Oh, is that like somewhere? <laughs> that's a good guess, but that's just actually because. Oh, uh, okay. Um, tokoro or basho, a lot of other words, but dakara is because. So because we finally came here, kono jidai o mite kara ni shite kairo. Which basically, do you know what kono jidai means? Yeah, I think this is like this era. Yes. So she wants to mite it. What does that mean? To see. Yes. So she's saying... Because we came all the way over here, I want to first look at this place, then we can go home. I don't want to go home first, us talk about it for a bit, and then come back. What, like, what, we're already here. We went to all the effort. I ran over as hard as I could to get the book. I'd read it before you could stop me. <laughs> um, and I'll give you the next line as well, Feverish. Okay. Watashi uh, Oshiro no Naka wo nite mitai wa. Yeah. Is Watashi just like I? Yep. Cool. And then Hoshido, uh, I think it's like, is that region? That's not region. What does Annie really like? Uh, oh, castle. Right. <laughs> uh, she wants to like see inside the castle. Exactly. Perfect. And now it's gonna be Cookie's turn. Da da kedo kono jidai no koto nani mo shira nai da. Okay. Um. Oh, uh, I've seen I've seen da kedo being used in dialogue a lot, but mm -hmm. I don't remember what it was. It's basically like however, or yeah. But... Okay, that makes more sense. So, however, uh, I think that means error, which yep. we saw last time. Um, no koto, I'm not sure what, oh, the place in this error. So that's a good guess, but no koto doesn't actually have a lot of meaning in it. It's basically kind of like an enveloping term to kind of like put a word in a big hug, like a hug. Um, for example, if you're going to confess your love to someone, you don't say, Ani o suki. That's horrible. You say <laughs> ani no koto ga suki. You add that okay. koto to kind of do an enveloping term. So that's uh, what they're doing yeah. right here. They're kind of like enveloping the jidai. Kono jidai is a little bit too aggressive. So a lot of times they might add no koto to kind of help make it. Yeah, I think like I'll a... have to see it a few more times. That, that's kind of what you have to do because you can't really translate koto. It's it's kind of just like you get you get used to it. Uh the it's just kind of like yeah it kind of it's a new thing sometimes it can mean thing but over here it's more of the enveloping word so yeah you just have to see it a lot and you learn koto <laughs> but yeah, in general like... if you are translated you can just throw it in the garbage <laughs> yeah it's nothing like, um, in the english yeah like when you try and translate the word the word bullshittery or something <laughs> yeah okay <laughs> and then nani mo shiranai da so I did not know anything, yes. right? So yeah. if I was translating this, I would use we, not because we's written here, but that's just how people tend to talk in Context. English. Well, normally yeah. talk back and forth. You do the royal we, <laughs> people you're talking yeah. to. Um, and I'll let you do the next line as well. Okay. Kaete, mazu, yoku shirabete kara ni shio. Okay. Such a cool vocab like grammar. I never noticed it. <laughs> We've seen this three times now, the Karani Sudu. Do you remember what that's telling us? Oh, uh like oh uh, 
I can I can like imagine it in my head as maybe a picture or something, but I can't put it in words it yet. It tells us okay? the order we should do something. So he's saying yeah, we right. should yoku hono yomu before we um shiro no naka o miseru. Yeah, that's more like it. So altogether. So uh I think the hono yoku shirabete uh what's that? Mm. <laughs> Well, shiraberu we means to do research yeah. with. Oh, I thought research was something to do with something like kenkyu or something. So kenkyu is research in the I am a scientist and I am going to physically do researchy stuff. However, if you're oh, going yeah. to look something up in a book or a library, that would be shiraberu. So kenkyu is more like hands-on research. Not like practical research, but specifically more like doing the the act of creating the research, like like the the science uh, behind where the research comes from. Um, while Shirabadu is more just googling it. Yeah, like yeah, that makes more sense. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty good. Right. So, what is he Shirabuing? So he wants to look further into the book. Yes. Pretty much. Yeah. yeah. So he's saying, so first we go home. And the first yeah. thing we'll do once we go home is look at this book a whole lot. And then we can come back here. Yeah. Okay. So next is going to be feverish. Yes. Koko de shirabereba i janai. Yes. <laughs> so this uh, is some interesting grammar. Do you know what reba is? Shirabeba. Shirabeba. Can't say I'm not sure. So this is an if, basically. An, an if slash when statement. Wow, my computer is acting weird. <laughs> <laughs> um, so do you know what? Uh, so reba plus e basically means it's good to do this. And the janaika is basically making it Basically, like, isn't it? Wouldn't it be fine to sh just shiraberu koko? Is what she's saying. What does koko de shirabu mean? Shiraberu. Uh, I think, like, um, so it sounds like koko is like establishing a certain place that yes. the shiraberu is happening. Exactly. Yep. Koko means here. It's specifically the location where you are standing. So okay. um, if I say koko, it's my room. You say koko, it's your room. If I say soko, that's your room. If I say, if you say soko, it's mine and Cookie's room. Mm. So yeah, that's how, that's how that works. Koko so, is... oh, yeah, I'm just not sure what Sheila she, she, she is. So Shirabu is the word we just talked about in the last line, oh. which is basically <laughs> Google it, but Google it inside the book to look it up. <laughs> So he's saying, so Annie's like, just Google it here. Just, just go read the book here. Why do we have to go back home and then come back here? That doesn't make no sense. We have the book. Um, which is, um, which is saying, how about, what if you look at the real thing and research it that way? Um, and then Jack goes, I kara hono yokose, which he says, okay, give me back the book. So he basically, he relents. He's like, you know, I can, you're right, I can read the book and I can go look at the real thing at the same time. So mite and shirabete means to do two actions at the same time. The two te forms next to each other. In case you were confused how that got translated. Like, it's not that he's going to go see it and then do research on it. It's that he's researching in the book and seeing the 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 thingy. Okay. So, this is a good time to do the switchy thing. So, I'm going to stop sharing and I should, there should be a new link. Do not click the old link. It will not work. Yep, uh, sure thing. To 